Hey everybody, I wanted to show a neat little trick that I learned using the previous version of iTunes 10, but now using iTunes 11, doing the same trick using playlists. Now, I'm a big fan of playlists and I created a couple in the old version of iTunes because I wanted to have certain songs in a playlist when I would exercise or whatever. But in iTunes 11, it looks a little bit different, but can still be pretty much the same. But not only do I want to show you how to not only just create a playlist, which everybody pretty much knows how to do, but I also want you to know how to make a smart playlist or one that you can add a little bit of intelligence into to make uh, your playlist a little more creative and uh, easier to design how you want them to show up. So if you have the iTunes 11, the default interface looks something like this. It just shows a bunch of album covers. Now I'm not a big fan of this look in iTunes. I'm not a big fan of it at all in iTunes 11. So what I did was up top here, I just clicked on the artists selection and it brings up the artists on the left hand side of the screen and then when you highlight one of those artists the albums that you have available for that artist show up on the right well along the up top part where I click the artist there's also the playlist button so you'll notice on the left hand side that my sidebar is there now by default that's not there in when in the iTunes 11 so I just clicked on the view and then show sidebar See right here, show sidebar? Normally that's unchecked. If you check it, you'll get the sidebar. It looks very much like iTunes 10, so you're in business. And as you can see, I've created uh, some playlists here, but these playlists look different than normal playlist icons. You'll notice that the normal playlist icons have a little music symbol with some lines next to them. Whereas these other ones that I've created have a little gear, a little cog uh, wheel there. Those are smart playlists. And it's very easy to create a smart playlist um, all that you need to do is just click on the little uh, plus sign down here and then choose new smart playlist and you choose that it'll bring up a screen that you see pop up here and then from this you can choose a number of different things in here and as you can see the by default it shows artist contains and then you can type in an artist name let's say for instance I want to type in all the songs from Queen that I have Queen and then I click OK as soon as I do that, my Queen list is populated by all the Queen songs I have in my library. Well, let's say, for instance, I have some songs in my Queen library that I don't want to be part of that playlist, but yet they're in the smart place, so they'll always show up. How do I go about making sure that only the songs that I want to show up in my smart playlist are listed there? Now, sure, you can just create a playlist and drag the songs just that you want there, but let's say you have a library of about 10,000 songs and scattered throughout that library are songs that you want to put in that playlist, but it just takes too much time to go through a playlist of 10,000 tunes to pick out the 10 that you want or the 100 that you want. So there's an easier way to do it, and that's smart playlists. So you can create rules under your smart playlist to pick songs out of a very extensive library and put them in, into a very small granular library. So like this Queen smart playlist that I've created, well, it just picks all the Queen songs. It doesn't really know the difference. Well, you can go in and edit by right-clicking on it and then just editing the smart playlist. And then it'll bring that same pop-up box back. And then you can add more rules to the playlist by clicking this little plus sign here. And then you choose the drop-down box here and you can choose from all the different selections in the iTunes library. The first one, you can choose all these different variables that you want to put in there. I mean, anything. Um, and then the middle check is the kind of a rule to let you say contains, does not contain, is or is not, that type of thing. Boolean type choices. And then in here you can define what you want to put in there. Well, as an example, for my Iron Maiden smart playlist, there were some videos that I have that are part of the LPs, the extended play things that you can buy in iTunes that contain videos, documentaries, and things like that. Well, I don't want those in my playlist. So here's what I did, and this was what I thought kind of fun to do was to refine my playlist, I would just come into my playlist and click on Edit Smart Playlist. Of course, I have my artist contains Iron Maiden that collects all the Iron Maiden songs. But then I also chose a drop-down box, choose choice of rating, and then is, and you see the three stars here? When I chose three stars, it would select all the songs in my library that have three stars that are Iron Maiden songs. 
So what I had to do then was to come into my artists section and choose Iron Maiden. As you saw here, Iron Maiden, if I can find it. Right here. And then what I did was I highlighted all the songs in just my Iron Maiden library that weren't videos. They were just songs. And I highlighted them all and I chose three stars for them. That means that my playlists now is smart enough to know that it's only going to take Iron Maiden songs that have a checklist of three um, only. So three stars only and then it's going to put them into my smart playlist. Now remember, this is mainly used for a person that has a very large library and you want to pick and choose out of that library, but you don't want to do the work. You want the computer to do the work for you. That's where you can come in and do that. Now I chose Iron Maiden as a one group for me and of course in that I have like 160 songs or whatever it is and I selected just the ones that I wanted that weren't videos and it was easy. Now you can get really granular doing this by adding more and more rules by simply just clicking the plus sign. Now I want you to notice that if I have a couple of choices here you'll notice that it lists them below where you're at. So the artist showed up below my rating. If you click the plus sign on the top one it'll characterize it below that and take that order. So it's whatever order you want these things to be sorted in that's where you click the plus sign. Since I'm not using those I'll just click and minus them. As you can see this is a very easy way to be able to create very granular playlists and I encourage you to go out and really play with the different things that you can do in here and see how it works good for you. This works really well for me. So that's how I use it to make things a little more granular. I know that's kind of a long way around on these smart playlists but I just want to give you an idea of how easy it is to create them and how intricate you can get in the playlists if you want to be able to pick and choose different songs and different artists to put into a smart playlist. It's not just limited to one artist. If you have questions for me leave them in the comments and feedback. If you have some criticisms for me please leave those there but let's remember let's be kind and respectful to each other okay? Thanks. Take care.